Hi clients and friends, Mike Brady here. This week I'd like to talk about vision and goals. And you might say to yourself, gosh, that is such a boring topic. Why do we have to talk about it? And the answer is because it works. Um, the reason why it's written about in books, uh, the reason why there's all these seminars on vision and goal setting, having a purpose in your life, sort of the purpose driven life, is because once you write it down, have a very clear picture about what you want to do, then it's uh, impressive what can be done. I have seen this myself in my 19 years of doing this, that when with hundreds of clients, that when we have a vision of what they want to do in their life, um, how they see themselves uh, retiring, what they want to do after they've retired, and we put it down on a piece of paper, it, it can be very powerful. And then we can start the logistics of how to get there. What is the plan? How are we going to break that down into manageable steps so that it is achievable? Uh, a marathon is not necessarily a 26 mile race, but it's really 26 one mile races that add up to that. Um, little tiny pieces that add up to, to the big goal. And your life and your retirement can be the same way. I've helped a lot of clients out with this and I can help you out as well. Now, one of the big keys is a retirement plan. The retirement plan is essentially, uh, in a nutshell, uh, what you have currently, what you're contributing to that retirement plan, when you want to retire, so the number of years, are you gonna have enough money at that point of time in order to draw income from it? That's it. Um, if you're already in retirement, the retirement plan is slightly different, which is, will you have enough money uh, to survive um, until, until you're passing? Will your spouse be taken care of? Will, uh, if one of your goals are to leave money to your heirs, will that actually happen? And so then we get down to the, to the goals. I mean, is, where's the balance between principal preservation and capital appreciation and income? Okay, these are uh, many times con conflicting goals. Um, you want the most maximum uh, capital appreciation, but you don't want to lose anything. I mean, I frankly have not met a single client who didn't want all of the return, but none of the risk. I mean, that's what, that's what we all want. So therefore, how do we mitigate um, the various downsides of, of those two? If you don't have enough upside, inflation's eating into everything you're doing. If, on the other hand, um, uh, if, if, if um, all you want is um, capital appreciation, then, then principal might be a risk. So how do you mitigate those things? So, so my, my, um, this week what I'm thinking about is really ensuring that you've got a plan, that it's written down, and that uh, it is getting you to where you want to be in your life. Um, of course, a part of that is also the values, ensuring that the plan that you have written down uh, gets you to your vision, but also within your values. So that's, my, that's what I'm thinking about this week. I hope you're having a great week. Um, please call me if you need any help or work. Uh, would you like to work together on that? Uh, my name is Mike Brady with Generosity Wealth Management, 303-747-6455. Uh, um, I am a registered rep with QA3 Financial. You have a wonderful week. Thanks, bye-bye.